That's right, it's time for another Something as Dinosaurs episode. I see these as kinda like a light version of the Stuff Into Dragons videos. It's a little bit easier and quicker for me to make, and it's a little bit more boring. Wait, that's not... that's not a good way to sell this. Uh, it's like the Dragons videos, but just different and equally as good. Really not thinking my intros through that well this week. But I feel like people will forgive me because I've done four videos this week instead of my usual two. I was doing a bunch of experimenting, so I figured this would be a good time to do a Smash Bros video. I've been meaning to do something with Smash Bros for a while, but was nervous about it, wasn't sure how people would respond to it. But might as well, in a week of experimenting. Good way to wrap things up. So if you're excited for me doing Smash Bros stuff or something with dinosaurs, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because I put out a ton of videos this week. Why is that a good reason to hit the subscribe button? I don't really know. I'm just riffing here, going off the top of my head. So let's just stop with this intro and get into the first drawing. Let's do it. Millions of years ago, incredible monstrous creatures roamed the earth. And while many are familiar household names like the T-Rex or Triceratops, there are some more obscure dinosaurs that many people don't know about. Let's learn about a few of them today. First, we have the Blue Quilled Raptor. This was the fastest of all the dinosaurs, able to move so quickly that it was like a blur of blue and red when it went by. These dinos were distinct for their vibrant colors and for their unusual hides. From afar, their skin appeared to be tough and leathery, but up close you could see that their bodies were actually coated in these matted quills, like a hedgehog. These dinos mainly fed on the eggs of other dinosaurs, and even when they weren't hungry, they could often be found smashing the eggs of other animals. For some reason, they just really hated eggs. When not hungry or around eggs though, these dinosaurs were fairly curious and friendly with other creatures, though their jovial nature could lead to other dinosaurs getting territorial and attacking them. This would be one of many situations where their speed would be incredibly helpful, able to get them away from any predator that they may have unintentionally vexed. Now the Sonic Raptor here was the idea that sprung this whole video. I just really liked the idea of drawing Sonic as a raptor, because raptors were really fast, and they're super cool, and Sonic's a cool design, and I just pictured his head-shaped thing on a raptor head, and thought it would be a lot of fun. And I, I like how it turned out. I like doing the big open mouth, and I, I really like the pose that I ended up coming up with. I had to do a bunch of experimenting with it. You saw me messing around with a few different ideas at the beginning. I would thought about maybe a pose where he was just standing there to show off more of the character's body, but with this video, unlike with my Super Mortal Kombat fusion from a few days ago, the design wasn't going to be particularly detailed or complicated, so I knew I could do a lot more dynamic pose. In this, you still see pretty much the character's whole body, but even if I'd pushed it even more, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. There's not a ton of design elements going on with Sonic, and in fact, you can see with the black triangle things across the body that I added more details to the design to make it, you know, a little bit more fleshed out. It doesn't make it more Sonic-y looking, but I thought it would make it a little bit nicer. And I'm glad I added that, though this did still remain a pretty simple design. And I like that. I think it works. And this drawing, I don't know why, but it kind of feels to me like a Yu-Gi-Oh card or something. Does anyone else get that vibe from it? I don't know. When I look at it, and it, I mean, it's almost done here, I just get the the image of a Yu-Gi-Oh card for some reason. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, the drawing's all finished up. I hope you like our Blue Quilled Raptor. Next, we have a herbivore, but don't let that fool you. This is not a dinosaur you'd want to be on the bad side of. The sword-tailed Steglinksaurus was incredibly adept at defense and offense. Well, they were on the small side as far as Stegosauruses went. They were more capable than most of their species at protecting themselves from even the largest carnivores. On their backs were a series of armored plates that acted like protective shields against any foe that would try to chomp into them from above. And like most Stegosauruses, they had a spiked tail, but as their name suggests, they had a very distinct form to their tail's end. The spikes appeared in a shape similar to that of a medieval sword. 
When threatened, they would spin rapidly in a circle and slash the legs of nearby foes. Adults of this species would also use this attack to slash down chunks of tall grass for their younglings to eat. The final interesting thing about these dinosaurs is their mating call. While a dinosaur of their size would be expected to have a bellowing grunt, these dinosaurs made a high-pitched grunting noise. Something like, huh, huh, yeah! It was very strange. They were unusual creatures indeed, but some of the most versatile fighters in the Stegosaurus family. Now with Link, I debated a few different possibilities for him. Originally I'd wanted to make him a Spinosaurus, but Spinosauruses are kind of aquatic and I couldn't really think of a good reason to link that with Link. And also for this episode I already had ideas for two other bipedal dinosaurs, so I was like, okay, I'll go with my other idea for him and go with a Stegosaurus, because it's a character that has sort of shields and also a spiked weapon, so I thought I could lean into that for having Link with his sword and shield. And I like it. In the end, I'm glad I ended up going with that, because I also liked having the drawing of him kind of spinning around, like Link's spinning attack. This drawing actually ends up very similar to my Ben 10 Diamond Head Ankylosaurus drawing. In terms of the pose, I think it's very similar. Obviously, the designs are a lot different. Also, as you can clearly see by now, I didn't go with the Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Link. I went with the Smash Bros. Brawl and the Twilight Princess, and the, it just feels to me like the more classic design to Link, even though, obviously, probably one of his most popular games now is Breath of the Wild, and that's got the more blue design. I really like that one as well, but this one still strikes me as more iconic, so I went with it for the reference to do this drawing. I do think overall I probably should have found a smaller kind of dinosaur to make Link, but ignoring that, I am pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's got a lot of Link in it while still being its own cool dinosaur thing. Wish I'd done something more interesting with his hat. But in the end, I do like how it turned out, so I hope you do too. Here's our Steglinksaurus. Now for our last dinosaur, I'm going to finish up with one of my favorite characters from Smash Bros, and what's probably my favorite dinosaur. Or at least it was when I was a kid. I had a toy of it, and I always thought it was really cool, and it had a fun, really long name. So let's do Samus as a Pachycephalosaurus. Does it make sense? Eh, sort of. But it doesn't matter. I think it's going to end up looking cool. They're visually going to be a fun fit, I think. So let's dive in, shall we? Finally, we have the most unusual of all our dinosaurs today. Some nuttier scientists have even theorized that the Samus Cephalosaurus did not originate from our world. For starters, they had a unique color pattern of red and orange, along with some yellow and gray that coated all of their body except for their bright turquoise right arm. This claw tended to have far stronger muscle fibers and would be used as a secondary form of attack if their primary attack didn't work, but it usually did. See, the Samus Cephalosaurus would attack foes by slamming their heads into their targets. They had an impossibly solid skull that grew up to 9 inches thick. It was harder than any armor humans have built in our time on Earth, and could be used for devastating blows against predators. The Samus Cephalosaurus also had an incredibly unique ability to bend its spine in a way that would let it curl up into a ball and roll across the ground if they needed to move quickly down a hill or mountainside. And the intense skull they had, along with similar plating along their hides, would protect them from any serious injury while doing this. Is it possible that these creatures were from beyond the stars? It's highly unlikely, but understandable for people to consider this because of how strange these creatures truly were. Now it was a tough call doing Samus as the last drawing for this video because there were so many Smash Bros characters that I wanted to work with and had ideas for, because obviously there's a lot of awesome designs and characters in that game. But I knew I'd only have time to do three characters for this episode because of all the bonus stuff that I've done this week, I needed to do a slightly shorter episode. And of all the ideas I had for the third drawing, Samus was probably my favorite. I'd also considered doing Falco as a pterodactyl or something along those lines, and that's obviously a bit more obvious and better of an idea because he's a bird character, make him a flying dinosaur. Are they dinosaurs? I forget. But anyway, this one just felt like it would be 
cooler and more interesting. And obviously, I really like Samus and Pachycephalosauruses. I really should have done Mario for this episode, but I didn't have a great idea for him. I know he's like the face of Smash Bros and Nintendo, so I'd consider just making him a T-Rex, because I feel like that's the most iconic dinosaur, but I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Maybe if I do another episode of this, I'll do that, or if anyone has some good suggestions for him, leave them in the comments below. Although I do have some fun ideas for him as a dragon. If people end up liking this, maybe I'll eventually do a Smash Bros. as Dragons episode as well. Anyway, this is probably the least dynamic of the poses for a character in this episode, but I thought it worked kind of well because Samus is a pretty stoic character, or at least I think of her as pretty stoic when I think of Samus. And this just seems like a tall, confident kind of pose for a dinosaur to be striking. I like how it turned out, and I hope you all like it as well. Here's our Samus Cephalosaurus. Another successful Dinosaurs episode all wrapped up. And what do you think of this? Was it like a light version of a Dragons video, or did you like it as much? And what did you think of the different kinds of videos I put out this week in general? I'm very curious, let me know in the comments below, was there a video that you really liked? That you want me to do more stuff kind of like that? I was kind of testing out what watch through times would be like for different videos on different topics with different numbers of drawings in them. Plus I figured it would be fun to give subscribers a whole bunch of bonus content this week. There's a lot of other reasons mixed into why I did this week, but that's the main stuff. And of course, if you want more stuff like this and you're new to the channel, I've done a Ben 10 characters as dinosaurs and as dragons, and a whole bunch of other stuff as dragons as well. Look, I, I like this episode, but I think the dragon videos are a bit better. So go check some of those out if you enjoyed this, because you'll probably like those more. Why am I underselling this video so much? I don't know. I'm just gonna wrap things up. That's all for today. I'm Christian Pearson. This has been Popcross Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube. Thanks so much to everyone who's been liking and commenting on all the bonus content this week. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all on Monday for a Dragons video that I've probably let people vote on by now, so check the community tab, because you can probably find out what the video's gonna be. Anyway, goodbye.